Everything is very bouncy here today. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? And welcome to part 118 of my playthrough of Okami. This <laughs> is just like the Pongtons Ballast. What's her little name? Her little name. Oh, this is Maya. Maya. Eastern, are you really going to the Spirit Gate? Are you trying to find that little Onia girl? Not gonna tell you, because I'm Isun and I'm moody now? I guess he was always moody. Ah, burn on Isun. And the, <laughs> the, the lucky mallet is here, just bouncing. I love how that just came out of nowhere. But we just left Punkton, and I guess we're gonna go search for the Spirit Gate after messing up on that thing and talking to the village elder. I, I'm bummed I messed up on that, but I'm not gonna go fix it just for the sake of time. You know, we're like 100 something parts of this, this long <laughs> going playthrough. That one day I will look. Oh gosh, I'm sorry, pig. Boar. No, 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 no! <laughs> that I uh, will look back on and, <laughs> and be happy <laughs> someday. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna look for the spirit gate, which I think must be further into the forest. Maybe, wait, is Kai here? Where'd Kai go? Did she just abandon us? That's really weird. I don't know if we can get through the forest without Kai. Do you think Easton would know his way around here? Let's see. Oh, great. Inner Yosef. Hmm. Well, I do like that. I dig the forest, like the ice forest. That's kind of cool, but oh. Oh. This, this should be fun. I can see it's definitely getting lost in here. Okay, Ami. The spirit gate is further on this way. Even we Ponicles hardly go that far into the forest. Nobody knows when it was made or even who made it. They say that opening the gate only invites disaster. Why was that in red? <laughs> but I only I but I doubt we'll find any curiosity seekers around there. After all, no one but the chief of the Ponicle clan can open it. Plus, the road to the forest depths is like a maze. It's even more confusing than the po oh, par- What? But if you're really bent on going through here, I'll be your guide. Yeah! What's it gonna be, Ami? Let's do this. Okay. Let's run full speed to the spirit gateway. Can't we just, like, take our time, be slow? Now stick close with me for a while. What do you mean, stick close with you? I don't wanna- Wait, is he gonna be ahead of us? Like, this- Isu, you realize you're really hard to spot, right? Wait. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> now we get Isu guiding us. Oh, okay. <laughs> good, more of this. Great. Uh, oh. I think this is going to be a good spot to speed things up. Since we've kind of already done this before, so... Lead the way, Isu.
Whew! Alright. This is it. That big old hunk of wall right there is the spirit gate. Wow. That's not exactly what I expected it to be, but well, that, was, that was pretty good back there. That was a little bit more challenging than the last one. I kind of like that better, especially with the uh, the cat walking power, the cat god power on the wall there where we had to go along the side of the like crater. That was awesome. When, when's the last time we used the cat god's power, right? When we got it? I don't think we've used it since long. I, I totally forgot it was a power. They, they got to do more stuff like that. That was awesome. But hey, wow, we've we made it to the spirit gate and... It looks, again, it's got like those those markings, kind of like that, that uh, Ark of Yamato. Hmm. Things are coming together. You know, I've been thinking more about messing up on that uh, mark, whatever it may be. I don't really know what it does, but uh, I was thinking, it, it, it would, I kind of want to keep it that way just to sum up how the, <laughs> how the motion controls work for this game. Like, how they've just messed me over. The Spirit Gate. Nobody knows when it was built, or even who built it. That's a little weird, I suppose. All we know is that it's been here since the Age of Myths. And that's a whole lot older than even Old Man and Shaku. The Ponicle Chief Clan has served as its gatekeeper for generations. It's said that needlessly opening this gate invites disaster. Well, guess what we're doing. But I have no idea what kind of disaster it might be. Are there different kinds of disasters, really? I would think it'd just be disasters in general. I'm gonna force this gate open. After all, we have no other choice if Lika's on the other side of this thing. How, then how would she get in if the only person to open it is the... whatever. <laughs> Stand back, Ami. You use your sword, I'll not use my divine powers. Son of a gun. Isun, you could do this this whole time. You couldn't have chopped anyone else in half. Boy, old man Ashaka would have my head if he knew what I just did. Let's just keep this between you and me, Ami. Just look at that light. Looks way too pretty to be anything that invites misfortune. What are you looking at, Furball? The door's open, ain't it? Do you have the guts to go on through it? If you turn back now, after all I've been through, I swear I'll... Huh? Oki! Hello again, Isu, and Amaterasu, was it? I thought I'd come and join the fun. I've never seen the spirit gate open before. They say opening it only invites to- yes, we know. <laughs> what are you doing here, anyway? And how the heck did you get this far into Yosef to begin with? Ah, uh, you must be talking about this force powers to confuse beasts. Indeed, we half men, half beast. Oh, that explains it. Onia should feel the effect. Why couldn't anyone say that a long time? Never mind. But it seems the sacred sword in Katon has kept me safe. This is no surprise, as the sword itself has driven me here. The wall of ice shall shatter and open the way to the heavens, when Katone glows silver. As the prophecy foretells when Katone starts glowing, it's only sign that the demon shall soon fall. What's more, some say even the heavens will be within reach. What the heck's that supposed to mean? <laughs> anyway, it hasn't even begun to glow. I must have not slain nearly enough monsters yet. If that's the case, this spirit gate should be just the thing. I'll give those monsters of misfortune a taste of Katone. 
Is that a pun? Okay, wait! We have no idea what's on the other side of this thing. All we know is Lika somehow ended up going through it. I guarantee you're gonna find more than you bargained for in there. That's what I'm hoping for. For the sake of Katone. No, wait, Ami! Maybe this isn't such a good idea! This doesn't look so bad. What was all that talk about spirit gain and misfortune? Hey, this place looks familiar. Yeah, that's it. It looks just like Kam Kamiki Village. Kamiki? You mean that teeny village in Shinshu Field? That's where the whole legend of Orochi began. I've never crossed the sea and set foot in a poem before. The divine guidance of Katone must have led me here. The monsters of this land shall now taste its cold steel. No, Oki, wait! What about Lika? He's gone. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, this really is Kamiki Village, isn't it? But I'm getting a different vibe from here. Hmm? That's strange. Why is there a full moon again already? Hmm. I gotta tell you guys, I didn't know what was on the other side of this door to be... I just did not remember, so... This is interesting. Although I think I might have a hunch about what's going on based on this little sprout. Hey, isn't this where Sakuya's tree was? What's this little dinky seedling doing here? Oh man, is is this what I think it is? Is what happened really what I think's happening? Huh? Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> You're some kind of god, aren't you? <laughs> I'm a wood sprite. They call me Sakuya. Oh, that's just way too cute. Young wood sprite Sakuya. Oh my gosh, even like the text like Shakuya, you know, like Sakuya, it's, it's cute. Really cute. What'd she say her name is? Shakuya? Sounds kind of familiar. Oh, you <laughs> Isun. Anyway, where the heck's Sakuya's tree? Oh gosh. Shakuya? That's me. Yeah, yeah, we know already, kiddo. <laughs> we grown-ups are kind of busy right now. Why don't you go off and play? Isun. Oh my god, he's so ignorant. Like, he just... Wow. So, basically, we're in the past. <laughs> we're in this thing could past. Oh, this is just... This just invites tons of... Whoa. Crud. Did... Okay. Huh. I wonder if she's got anything else to say. Excuse me, god... Are you looking for me? Did you say God? Hmm. I guess that's the innocent eyes of a child who can see the truth of Ami. Ama? Ah, oh, Mr. Bug and me. Shakuya, let's be friends, okay? <laughs> Mr. Bug. Oh my god. Mr. Bug, better watch it, kiddo. Oh wow, that's just, that's way too cute. Can we make her pet us? Can we do that? Can we use our divine powers and abuse them? No? Maybe I missed, because I can never tell with this thing. Ah! Oh, guys, like, I just recalibrate. I, I move my Wii... Maybe I should move the Wii sensor lower. I don't know what to... You know what I mean? Like... There we go. Oh, yes! Oh! <laughs> That's way too cute. Oh, my gosh. That is a good use of our divine powers. <laughs> so... Essentially, I don't I don't even need to not spoil it. We're in the past. Anyone would figure that out. Hey, a golden gate. When's the last time we saw one of those? 
Wow, so Kamiki Village, oh my gosh. That's that's what I'm talking about. Like this playthrough's been so long. I mean not only has the playthrough itself been long, but like the time of which I've been playing it has been oh my god, it's probably been over a year. It just it makes this game actually feel that much better, because I, I love Okami. Like, Okami is like the only reason really I turn on my Wii anymore. I mean I've got other games I definitely gotta play, but like if it weren't for Okami, my Wii would just still be sitting there gathering dust. Like, what is going on? What the heck? Does it think I'm to the side? Is that the problem? Like I, I'm dead. I'm dead with it. I'm about three feet away from it. I just recently went into my Wii settings right before this video, and uh, I lowered the sensitivity, hoping that would help. I'm gonna bring it down to one and see if I can one praise. See if that'll uh, do anything for me. Huh? Why is the sky so dark? The sun's out, isn't it? Hmm. Well, that's not what I meant to do, but that certainly added to the plot, didn't it? Okay, so I cannot get this last tree to bloom for the life of me. And I think it's because my uh, batteries are actually dying. So, <laughs> with that as an excuse, I think this is probably a good place to end things off. We're in the past. We went through the spirit gate. Oki just ran off into nowhere. He's probably going to get into trouble in the past. We should probably be careful about, you know, the, the butterfly effect. We don't want to divine power ourselves or something. <laughs> but uh, for now, I think this is going to be a good place to end things off. So I thank you guys for watching. And until next time. I'll catch you later.